morning guys. Uh, welcome to my casa. Come on in and have a look. We're uh, just sitting up now for our, our morning morning stretch. Uh, still trying to wake up the body a bit. Session one in the books. Mobility done. How's your body feeling after that? <laughs> I'd love to say good, but that was pretty strenuous on the hips, so uh, might feel a bit better in a few more minutes, but uh, right now she's <laughs> feeling a bit sore. <laughs> so, is that a daily thing, Paul? Every morning, wake up, do a bit of a stretch? Yeah, every morning it's something we've added into uh, our day in the last probably four or five months. Um, yeah, we really enjoy it. It's just uh, it's a good way to start the day, loosen up the body, um, get the blood flowing. It's good for you know recovery and uh, stuff like that. So, yes, yeah, I mean that was pretty strenuous today, but you know normally it's about 30 minutes, uh, a little bit more relaxing, and uh, yeah, it's good. Just a good way to open up the body for the day's training. Have you found it's made a difference to things in terms of your flexibility, your movement, that kind of stuff? Massively for my flexibility, yeah, um, especially through my quads and hips. Um, it's been a huge uh, game changer. So, yeah, so I think mentally as well, it just sort of you know relaxes you and gets you ready for the day. But definitely through my body has uh, opened up a, a ton through just the first three months of doing it. What are you doing, Paul? Just making the the, the morning lemon juice. It's uh, good for the immune system, and uh, it's always good to get a bit of water in the morning. This is about as much as I can do in the mornings, it's uh, not a morning person. And what are you up to this morning, Nella? <laughs> Making pancakes! Ah, uh, this is made with oats, almond milk, bananas, chia, cinnamon. I'm just uh, supervising at the moment, uh, just making sure nothing needs to be tested or... <laughs> <laughs> I don't really do anything in the mornings. Um, Nayla does most, uh, most of the work in the mornings and I sort of just stand here doing nothing. <laughs> Works pretty well. Normally he doesn't even stand here, he's just sitting on the couch. <laughs> Clearly a fan of the pancakes, Paul. This is where I come in very handy, is uh, cleaning the dishes. I love the mornings, mate. I love the mornings. How long is the journey to the gym? Ah, uh, gym's nice and close. Just uh, five minutes down the road, so... You can take it on the bike as well, but as you can see today, it's not the nicest of days, so...
So what are we moving on to now, Paul? Um, now we've got a bit of barbell conditioning, so um, it's four minute and wrap. Um, so four minutes of work, two minutes rest. Um, we'll do that three times. So deadlifts, hang power cleans, push jerks, and for any time left in the four minutes, we uh, finish with max on the row. So should get the heart rate pretty high and then recover two minutes, get the heart rate high, recover. Bit of interval training. Go Dom for what's next? Workout finished, uh, back for some lunch and a bit of recovery and then uh, quickly off to some, for some physio and some, some lovely needles. Um, we're just off to uh, see my physio. Um, yeah, we just uh, finished some lunch and now uh, it's time to, to make the body uh, move a bit better. It's a cut. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, what's the physio going to be uh, going to be working on? Um, we're going to be um, doing some dry needling today, so I'll probably get my uh, left hip and both my quads uh, needled. Just try and uh, get a bit of tension out of there and create some blood flow to it. Okay. All right, what are we doing today? Um, get my quads probably both them done. Yeah, um, and maybe just like that. That hip again? Yeah. Just get that free. Um, so maybe make my shoulders better. I feel alright. Yeah? Well, I'll just do a little check up and then yeah. see, uh, see what's going on. Fall forward and just completely relax your upper back and shoulders, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. So, come back up. Alright, here we go. Alright, so breathe in. Everything extends. And uh, breathe out. Relax, relax, relax. Not much, huh? Yeah, I felt it. I felt a small one, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're just releasing the blocks in the muscle, the trigger points. It's just a lack of circulation in the muscle. Put pressure on his nerves. Oh, the lack of circulation, yeah. They tend to cramp quite a lot. So once we release that, then yeah. And then he's got full contact with his muscles again. More strength, more circulation. See another, another one here. There. Oh. 
people loves this treatment. <laughs> it's not a good time for a close-up. No. <laughs> But Paul, of course, has a high recovery rate, very quick recovery rate. So you can do two heavy training sessions in a day and a full dry needling session and still be able to function the next day. Most people don't. Normally you need a little bit of time to recover. Halfway through the day, pretty sore to be honest. But it's good, it's a good thing. Yeah. Cool. Needs to be done. Thank you, brother. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite a light day for the squash today. We just got a solo, and then um, we're going to finish off with a bit of ghosting. So uh, probably an hour and a half, uh, 60 minutes solo, and uh, about 30 minutes ghosting. So yeah, last one for the day. Working on a solo on court ball. What kind of routine are you working on? Or? Um, yeah, I was just working on uh, some stuff I'm trying to add into my game. So um, now I've been uh, working with a uh, good coach now. So you know we're working on um, just adding a few more things into my game. So just focusing on that, nice and easy. Uh, yeah, just trying to groove that into my game. Really, make it feel natural. And whenever you're on there doing a the solo, is there any particular type? Uh, do you try and hit pen length the same before you move on to the next thing, or are you quite fluid with how you work it? No, I'm quite relaxed. I uh, normally just wait till you know I'm, I'm sort of really feeling in a groove with it. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll wait until I, you know, I, I feel like I'm, I'm hitting the ball well on that side and, and the, the ball's going where I want. So I don't. Sometimes I, I will do that, like I will do ten lengths on a target or something, but. Today it was just about getting a feel of the swing and the shot that I was trying to play.
done. 20 minutes yeah. solid ghosting? Yeah, quads are burning. Not sure if it was uh, the needles or something, but the quads are on fire that whole time. It was, uh, it was a pretty tough session. Pretty, to go to a pretty dark place. It was, uh, it was good, good for the soul. I mean, what keeps you pushing yourself when you're on there? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's the same that pushes everyone, you know, it's the desire to, to better yourself and, um, you know, I just think of some of the matches where, you know, I've felt a bit tired and at the end of a match and I've really had to push, so I just tried to, you know, um, emulate that thought again and, and put myself in that situation, you know, um, I'm sure, you know, I'll be thankful for the session, uh, you know, in a fifth set against uh, someone, you know, so, you know, you just got to think of the bigger picture and it's not just, uh, it hurts now, but, you know, it's, it's money in the bank, so I'll cash it in later. It's been a good day's training, it's been a tough one, um, I think we've got plenty of work done though and it's been, uh, you know, we're ready for our next tournament in the, in the US, the US Open and uh, we leave Monday, so. Um, yep, we're very excited to go there, but uh, it's time to get some food now and, and uh, say goodbye, so thank you for visiting, but it's uh, time to go now.